Hi there and welcome to Lion Illustration. Most of you people may know me as one of the co-creators of the House of Stars, a webcomic series that takes place in Webtoon. Not web, it takes place wherever and somewhere else, but we are uploading it to Webtoon. I co-created a webcomic series with my pal Salta Cuentos. We were both nominated as one of the eight finalists on the Webcoon Worldwide Contest. Since then, our comic has been growing a lot, and I've noticed that most of you have a lot of questions related to the art style of the comic, and some of you have been requesting for tutorials. So that's why I created this channel, in order to get closer to you people and help you out as much as I can. Most of these comments were about how it, the style of this comic reminds you so much of the Hayao Miyazaki films, anime and things like that. And I wanted to tell you that that is because of the color that drinks a lot from the old school animation. I wanted to show you the way I color the panels for this webcomic as the first tutorial in this channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. I've already done an event before. As you can see, here's like all the coloring stuff that most of the people have telling me that looks like Hayao Miyazaki's films and other kind of anime and stuff like that. We actually did this on purpose. We wanted to have this kind of vibe that the animation movies have. And it's the same thing that we're going to do to Lily. Here we have Lily. I've already made the lines because this is only a uh, coloring tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to get that by animation kind of movie thing. So first of all, this is the way I set my layers. I have my lines on one side. Forget about this other so We're only working with the lines and I'm going to set another one with color here. I'm going to make a new folder which I'm going to name color. So first of all, I will go with the magic wand. I will click on the outside of the lines and I'm gonna check everything that it's not going to be colored. Go to selection, modify, expand with only one pixel, okay, uh, inverse, and then I will click here. Okay, this means the only thing that is going to be colored is the inside. So this is like a super quickly way of filling the characters. So if I go to a layer that is inside the color folder and I paint everything, as you can see, I'm only painting the things I've selected already. So after that, I would go with the selection tool and I will select by hand the parts that haven't been colored yet. You have to go to color again and click on the white color uh, in order to fill the, the gaps. Okay, so here we have the whole thing cleaned and for this part I start to divide this in more layers. So I would go for the first one and I will call it skin, clothing, then I have extra, which is what I call to the objects and things she's carrying around, and face. The thing with comics is, is that you have to have the less amount of layers as possible because you, you work with such a big amount that it drives you bananas. One of the most important things for things like a comic book, because you have so many characters, is to have a color palette for each one of them. So I make the color palettes like this. I know many people have told me that they look like Minecraft characters, but it's actually super helpful to have it like in squares, because you can just place it wherever, get the color and put it on the character. So I'm gonna grab the, the skin first, and I'm just gonna paint the whole thing. And then I'll work from top to bottom. This is because top layers cover the bottom ones, so once you have done some of the selective work with this part, you don't have to do it with this because you just color underneath. When I say face, I don't only mean face, usually I also mean hair. So I'm gonna grab the hair color. So I use always for all the characters the same color for the teeth and the eyes and it's not white white, it's like a version of their skin tone but way more pale. 
that's in order for them not to look like they just came right straight from the dentist you know it, it looks way way more natural for clothing Lily has like this specific palette it's everything very pastel but also blue the thing with characters in comic books is that they have to have their own kind of color palettes there has to be like one main palette for the full comic book because it's like kind of the vibe of the universe of the comic book itself but each character needs to have their own color palettes in order to evoke the emotion that you want them to project so when we started designing Lily we didn't know that much about all the characters but what we did know is that she was a very very sweet girl oh but also a brave one so as in one hand we designed the clothing to to fit the moving part of Lily, yeah, like the adventurous kind of stuff, the colors needed to remain on the sweet part. Each time I, I draw Lily's clothes, she's usually wearing a variant with the same kind of colors. I like to play with the wardrobe. Even though in some TV series or comic books this happens a lot, she will change like any other person would, you know? Each time you're creating a character, you need to know where the character and the action is taking place. And this is very important because the actions and the things that surround the character are the things that shape the way the character is looking. The people that live in Bergel, they are wearing very comfortable clothes because they don't care about style or anything else. The things that we know about Lady is that she was a very hard worker, like she was uh, very outgoing and that's why we went for this kind of bag of clothing. Lilith's clothes are totally comfortable. She's always wearing t-shirts or shorts, the same sneakers all the time, and it's because the only thing she needs the clothes for is to cover herself. Instead of oh, dressing like a normal or typical 19 year old, she's dressing like a kid who wants to play around or something. And her hair, I decided that it would be better if it was shorter, but I went for this kind of cut because it also brings out the sweetness of the, of the girl. So this is the kind of cut that you never need to take care of, but it looks cute all the time. So, and now let's go to get that effect that really makes it pop and look like a Miyazaki movie. Till this point it's actually not that kind of a Miyazaki a kind of style. If, if you look at it, the style of the face and the lines were totally different. It really looks like because of the colors. If you look at movies like Spirit Away and things like that, she has a very similar color scheme and it actually looks like the, the outfit she's wearing at the beginning of the movie because she's a little girl wearing a shirt and shorts. But for the rest of the, of the design, it's not that I like. But this is going to be like the thing that is making it going to pop like an animation movie. And it's the shadowing. When you get to the shower, shadowing part, you make a new layer, you put it in top of the color, and we're just gonna call it shadow. Uh, let's choose a different color for red. I'm just gonna make it red. And for this part, I used a lot the lace selection tool. I would choose a color uh, usually like a dark Bordeaux, I don't know how to say that in English, it's uh, like a very dark red and I would paint the whole thing on top of the color part. Then you go to the layer and you choose uh, I don't know how to say that in English, like the uh, like selection mask and then I would go to the layer uh, setting and I would put it in multiply. After that, I reduce the opacity and I take it to 30. It's usually it's a 50, but because it's the light of the day, I'm just gonna put it 40. And then I would go to the rubber and usually helping myself out with things like the selection of the face color, in this case it would be the, the hair color, I would go and start erasing the extra shadow. So, so some people do it the other way, I sometimes do it the other way too, but this is what has been working for me lately. And it's just like, go deleting what, what you don't like to, to be in the shadows, you know? Let's just delete everything. Okay, we delete everything and then with a brush, let's, let's just select what is going to be in the shadows. In this case, I'm going to do the, like the, the back of the hair, and also this part, and also here. I'm choosing this part because the, the light is going to come from that side. 
at the beginning you can tell not much that it's working but after a while it works better i'm just gonna do it with node selections in order for you to see properly and then afterwards I'll, I'll just clean it out Before ending, I would usually put uh, on top of the line part a white effect, um, like a white marker, you know, for white things that are also on top of the line. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of color on Lily's eyes, even though they are super dark, because she has like this super dark kind of brown color. If the occasion requires it, because I don't usually use this a lot, you can also go to the shadow layer, take this out, then click on the light, then this will select only the light part, make the new layer with a cutting mask and grab um, a color, in this case because she's on the sun, I will grab like a light, like a pale yellow or something like that, and then you color the whole thing. And you choose like a 20 or so, and then you might have like a, that kind of a morning glow, you know? You can, you can, it's not necessary to put that much. Yeah, that will be all. There you have it. Uh, Lily colored in the House of Stars coloring kind of style, and I hope you like the tutorial. I hope that was helpful and you guys enjoyed it and if you have any other requests related to how to draw or whatever just comment down below and since we are going to start with such a few people in this channel from the, from the beginning I'm gonna try to read all the comments and take good notes for the next videos and also for the rest of you who don't know Webtoon it's a web page that uh, it's also an app and you can download it for the iPad and also for the um, yeah for tablets or for mobile phones and it's this amazing app where you can read um, comic books for free and they have some of the best authors now the only thing you need to do is download and start subscribing to all those comics my friend Salto Quintus and I uh, started working for Webtoon because we are one of the eight finalists on our Webtoon contest that took worldwide this year and I'm gonna put you down below the rest of the winners of the contest because they are amazing. We were divided in four categories. One was terror, another one was laughs, another one was love, and the one we were competing on was fantasy. So you can expect a lot of things from those webcomics because there's such a huge amount of talent on Webtoon that it's, 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 it's unbelievable. Just, just start bridging and stuff. For those who know us, I just have to say that we're working super hard on the new chapters of the House of Stars and as you might know already, it's coming for the 2019 and yes, till then, write us on the Instagram and Twitter and everything, I'm gonna leave mine and my friend, uh, the writer of the, of the comic book, I'm gonna put them down below, you can just scream that we're late or whatever. We are gonna try to work as hard as we can to get like a even higher quality comic book for you guys. And last but not least, I would really really like to know about you guys, about the ones who have been reading the comic already and stuff. Um, so I'm very very curious because one of the things that we don't know about you is where are you guys from? Like. I don't, we don't know where is our audience from, so if you if you want to contact us, just leave a comment down below and say, hey, I'm this and I'm from here. Uh, you can lie and whatever, uh, we're not gonna notice because we, I'm just starting here. And as many of you know already, Salta Quintus and I are both from Spain, so if you guys want videos in Spanish or something, just leave the comments down below and yeah. Uh, this is an experiment. Let's just chat and whatever. Okay, enjoy. Bye. <laughs>